What's up guys, Mac in the morning here. I'm joined by my good friend and fellow Bruin, Marcos Giron. We're on the bikes right now, doing a little warm up. Um, yeah, Marcos, what, what do you utilize the bikes for and what do you really do in this room? Dude, thanks for having me on Mac in the morning. <laughs> yeah, uh, no worries. You know, uh, every day started out with being on the bike, yeah. warm up the body. And, yeah, warm um, up. All of us really get in here before practices and post matches actually to cool down as well. So it's really a good tip for those of you at home that want to just get on, maybe ride for 10 minutes just to warm up and get a little bit of blood flowing. It's yeah. also kind of nice on the bike, not that it's no impact. Exactly. We, so We spend so much time on the court running and stopping that yeah. it can be tough on the joints. Exactly. And so I think biking is good for that. I know from experience, but you know for yourself, like why is it so important to warm up uh, before you practice and play matches? <laughs> Um, so I don't pull my hamstring like you, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Exactly. Um, no, I think it's, you have to warm up before practice. You don't want to go out there and go from zero to a hundred. I think that's when you, when you're going to get hurt. Right. We're going to go through a warm up on a pre-match day or a uh, practice. So first I'm going to have Marcos just do some uh, knees to the side, get his back kind of getting warmed up. And then after that, you kind of want to go into some leg swings which kind of opens up the back a little bit more. You know how important that is and uh, mobility for the serve and all the shots with how much we twist. Also, you, you want to get into some core movement too because core is very important for the serve and all the ground strokes. So I'm going to have Marcus hold a dead bug, arms up, and he's slowly just going to go opposite arm, opposite leg, going down and back up. You want to make sure that your back is on the ground too. So this is something you want to do, maybe three reps on both sides and that'll get the core going and firing before you start hitting. And then after that, he can go into maybe a, a plank for the abs. That's something you can hold for a little bit. And what do you think, a little downward dog? A little downward dog for the backside as well. Yeah, and those are some really good floor movements that you can do <laughs> before you practice. Oh yeah. So also for warm up, you want to do some arm bands. So I'm gonna have Marcos just do some rotations on the shoulder. You want to go slow and and get good range of motion here. You want to do probably 10 reps or so. And you want to do both arms. And then the shoulder one where you go up is also really key. It's for the rotator cuff. And then we'll also do triceps too. So you can turn around, just pull one. There you go. You want 10 reps of that. So this is really going to warm up your arm, forearm, shoulder. And these bands give a good resistance. And then also, lightly just doing wrist uh, action, just back and forth. That gets your wrist going too, which is very key in tennis. All right, Marcos, thanks for joining me in a warm up. I really appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me on Mac in the morning. Best of luck. Thank you.